Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the new Niane card to review today. So we're taking a look at a card that is six foot two, high low work rates, three star skills with a three star weak foot. In regards to his in-game attributes, he's got 95 acceleration with 89 sprint speed. Uh, oh, forgot about the traits actually. He doesn't have any of the important traits in regards to um, outside foot, finesse shot, anything like that. Acceleration on the cards at 95 acceleration, 89 sprint speed. Shooting is at 80 attack positioning 82 finishing and 90 94 shot power so what's important with this card obviously is the fact that he has the shot power so you just have to boost the finishing yourself for him to be incredibly usable in the game and obviously the chemistry style that we are going to be given this card is the finisher chemistry style for obvious reasons right so his base card stats for pace isn't necessarily bad i want to see what he's going to play like as a lone striker and as a striker next to somebody else because it's really, with this card, it's really going to revolve around his attacking AI because of the fact that he's a high-low player, right? A high-low work rate of player. And, uh, you know, usually when you have high-medium, high-low work rate of players in a striker position, they actually move across the pitch really well, especially if you have very, very aggressive tactics, right? So with this card, we're going to be giving him 85 attacking positioning with high-low work rates, and then he's 7 finishing with 99 shot power. So even if I shoot with his 3-star weak foot, because of how the mechanics work in the, uh, in the game this year, he should be able to shoot the ball quite nicely like it's essentially perfect shooting uh, I don't really do long shots anyway so it's not really a concern of mine not really the type of card that's going to do volleys with because you don't really have the skill moves to you know do the ball roll flick up the rainbow flick or anything like that right so uh, dribbling on the card with base card stats looks like 87 uh, 87 agility 66 balance uh, with 70 composure so obviously the 66 balance and the 70 composure, not great things to have. In my opinion, I think EA should have done better with this card in regards to upgrades. Like, obviously, with this card, he has gotten significant upgrades in general. Like, if you take a look at what the card looks like uh, from his silver card to this, the upgrades have been significant. But it's just that, you know, just to, use the, just to make the card a little bit more usable in games, some things need to be adjusted uh, in regards to making him more usable, right? Like, the balance being at... I would say like a 78 with the composure being at an 80 probably would have made the car a little better in regards to making him more usable for how the game meta is in regards to, you know, you have to play division rivals mostly when you play this game, right? So it would have been cool to boost the card. Uh, more uh, in regards to heading this card actually can win the ball in the air with 91 jumping and 96 heading accuracy so the meta in this game right now is the uh, low crosses and regular crosses so because he's a tall player with high low work rates he'll get into those positions really quickly to score those opportunities so we are going to be trying him out in different ways right we're gonna be trying him out uh, with some aggressive tactics with some very generic ones uh, I'm gonna show you guys what we are going to be rocking with so we have four different formations to try outs from here right this is a uh, the more defensive one so don't even worry about this one uh this is one that i use to kind of start off the game with to see like and feel how my opponent is playing what i want my players to do right but the main formations that we are going to be using because it is more aggressive because of his play style is the two long ball tactics right so we'll be trying out the four one two one two right with the instructions on the striker and I, I replaced him with Jerome Felix so that he can just be in that position instantly uh, we're going to be playing him on just stay central and stay forward so because of his work rates the stay central role that he's going to provide in the team he should make those runs regardless right that should be his basic attacking AI um, and then the 4-2-3-1 going to be a very similar situation we have him on stay forward but he can move however way he wants because of the balance that the rest of the players uh, cause in the team so Let's get into a game, see how he plays. Hopefully he's a usable card because obviously he's not necessarily uh, that great in regards to stats, but he could be a fun card to use in the game. And, you know, if you ever want to make a Senegalese player in the future, he's going to be one of those guys. I don't know what EA are going to do with objectives this year because objectives is actually going to signify whether or not some SBCs are worth doing because of, you know, icon swaps and whatnot. So, uh, yeah, let's get into a game and see how he plays. SBC squad. Oh, he's trying to get the full chemistry. Okay, smart. What we can't complain about today is the okay, guys, let's switch to the ultra attacking one first. Hold on. Ooh, that emphasis with his height is going to be a problem sometimes. <laughs> Yo, his, dribb his initial dribbling right there wasn't actually that bad. You know what, boys? Because of his height, he actually could be really fun to use. Let's see what's up with this card. From that angle? 
I mean, hey, touch, nice little dribbling, shoots the ball kind of nicely. Not too bad. It's a low percentage shot right there. Let's see if I can get him on the head right here, actually. Oh, it switched my player there. That sucks. Yeah, if you were to play with a card like this, honestly, you kind of have to play him with somebody else. I would say that you have to really force the aggressive play style out of the card because if you do any sort of left stick dribbling with him, it's just not going to be uh, an ideal thing to do at all, to be fair. Let's do a small little cross right here. Oh, that's unlucky. It's weird with the crosses sometimes because you want to register it to certain people. Because I wanted to see what his heading would be like in that situation, but it didn't really work out. Yeah, he's super aggressive on the runs. That's the run right there. Finesse shot from there. <laughs> That's like a really off-balance strike because of the height that this card has. <laughs> Let's switch him to the uh, 4 4 4 1 2 and 2 actually. Kind of curious to see how he's going to play with that. He is definitely a player that drifts wide and then gets in behind, and he actually does go back into the middle quite quickly. Uh, which is okay, not necessarily a bad thing. He's really tall and lengthy in game, you know? Hmm. I wish he was more aggressive there in regards to running into the box. Just want to utilize his base characteristics as much as possible, you know. The cross is on. This looks promising. All right, we got a nice little passing play going on over there. Not too bad. Does the initial pass up on this face? Can't go wrong with that. Do a nice little lob pass right there. It almost, you know what's funny, man? It almost feels like a, a lengthy Peter Crouch that can run, you know? <laughs> Anzu Fati with the finish, we'll take that. Nicely done, good little run inside the 18-yard box right there. It's not like his dribbling is like completely awful, it's just not necessarily great. <laughs> Um, I mean, yeah, guys, uh, it, it's pretty obvious what the card is going to be like in game. Uh, I do have, like I said, uh, aggressive oriented tactics, you know, long ball tactics with is high, you know, we, we try to force a run out of the players. The thing with Nyane is that even though I have him on state central, he still likes to drift wide, get in behind, but because of the state central instruction, he actually goes back into the middle pretty quickly, but um, he doesn't really feel too special in regards to attacking AI. I feel like even though he could potentially have those runs for sure, it's just not really working that well because of his body type as well as his dribbling, right? So he's a super lengthy guy that has very, very poor balance and agility, right? Well, no, agility is okay. It's the balance part that's going to affect it a lot, right? Oh, we'll take that opportunity at least. At least he's in a good area to score that opportunity. We'll definitely take that at least. All right, guys. So final verdict on this Nian card or Niane. Um, not really sure what his name is. I think it's Nian because he doesn't have that little on the E, you know. Uh, but with this card, guys, I noticed a lot of base characteristics that affects him a lot, right? So we're taking a look at a card that is six foot two, very skinny and lengthy with really, really poor balance, reactions, and composure in game. And those things all together really, really affects the performance of the card in regards to left stick dribbling and all that fun stuff. If I were to give him a finisher chemistry style boost, which I have in this review, right? Again, they are in full 10 chemistry because this is the max chemistry game mode. Uh, he still feels... It's like a usable card, but it's just not necessarily ideal with how FIFA is played nowadays. Like if you play like a, a realistic football where it's like, hey, you want to cross the ball into the box and then maybe he could score a heading opportunity for you because of his 91 jumping and 96 heading. And you want to play that like realistic football of just crossing. 
cool, right? But he's not really going to be the type of card that is going to be influential for you or overpowered in any way for him to be really, really good. So um, in regards to in-game quality, I would save your coins personally. Uh, but in regards to sentimental value, again, if this dude's Portuguese, he's going in my team instantly. So uh, it just depends on how you view the game. I also don't know if EA is going to do any sort of like objectives in the future with Senegalese players, right? So could be very very helpful in regards to having a first owner senegalese player in regards to that but again we're, we, we don't have anything confirmed in regards to how they're going to be doing these objectives for first owners or icon swaps or whether we have to do them in division rivals because if we have to do it in division one boom you know so um yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video i'll catch you guys for the next one peace out dudes love you guys